Hello friends, now we are going to study how to convert ER model into the tables. We have a seven steps. Uh, now we will start with the first step. So look at the first step. What is the first step? Conversion of strong entities. Okay. So now before in ER diagram, we have seen there are six steps. So now the step was we have to find out which is the weak entity, which is the strong entity. So after classification of strong entities, we have to take a strong entity and we have to make a separate table for a strong entity. Okay. Now there are some uh, most cases like say strong entity may have composite attribute and we have to divide those composite attribute into the singular attributes. Okay. Now look at the definition. Uh, first thing we have to do, I have divided this step into two parts A and B. So what A part says for each strong entity create a separate table with the same name include all the simple attributes okay in that table and break the composite attributes into the simple attributes and include them in a table now at this stage we have to ignore multi valued attribute attribute having multiple values like email mobile that we have to ignore in this stage now b part is identify a primary key for the table and primary key generally we will uh, mark like we will represent using a like underline okay so now this is a step now look at the we will study the second step. Now we will look at the second step. So what is the second step? The second step deals with converting weak entity. Uh, we are going to uh, make table for weak entity. Okay. So how to make the step says that for each weak entity create a separate table and uh, we have to give the same name and we have to do the same thing that we have done in the first step in the A part. Okay. Now second step we will go like B part is include the primary key of uh, strong entity that is a foreign key in this table that we have seen in a uh, you can say that uh, uh, discriminator attribute. So we have to create a discriminator attribute here uh, and we have to declare that discriminator attribute as a primary key. Okay, so read declare the foreign key and discriminator attribute as a primary key of a weak entity. So we are going to define, so each table should have a primary key. So in the first step we have created, we have found out the uh, strong key, a primary key for a strong attribute and we have created a separate table. And in second step we have created a table for a weak entity with the same name and we have given the primary key. Okay, so now look at the third step. Now we will look at the third step. So what is the third step? In this case we are going to convert uh, the partial and total participation total participation we will look at so this is step for one to one relationship okay now in this case uh, for each one to one relationship uh, what we have to do we have to either modify uh, we can modify any side of table okay uh, but where the total participation is there that time we have to modify uh, that side table and we have to that time uh, that side of entity and we have to give the same name to the table and we have to add a primary key of another table as a foreign key in that table okay and if relationship has some attribute then we have to uh, add those attribute in a modified table let's uh, look uh, like read definition once for each one to one relationship or say between a and b modify either a or b to include the primary key of uh, other table as a foreign key and if any one of the uh, or, uh, like side having the total participation then that should be the modified table okay and the B point says that if relationship consists of like uh, attribute, then they must be included in the modified table. Okay. So look at the example here. Now this uh, example says that, that we have to uh, modify. Uh, this example says that uh, we are having the A and B two tables and uh, A table is having A entities having A1 and A2 as the two attributes. Okay. This is symbol for attribute. This is relationship and having some attributes X and Y and in this case B is entity having B and B2. So now in this case A and B both are strong entities. Okay. And now we will look that how to convert this table uh, into uh, the like uh, this uh, relationship ER diagram into the table. Okay. Now uh, keep the mind uh, rule in the mind or if you want you can go back in the video and you can again read the rule. Okay. Now we will start with. The first thing is we will be creating. Now understand this is having total participation means what? Now B side table should be uh, converted. Okay. So now what we will do? We will create for A entity. We will give the table name as a A and A has a two attributes A1 and A2 where understand A1 is a key. Okay. Now we are having the another table B. Okay. 
So now this B table has a two attributes B1 and B2. Okay, so understand. So we have B1, B2, where B1 is a primary key. Now, according to rule, what we have to do, we are going to modify the B side table because B is having total participation. And in this case, we will add the primary key of A, that is A1, as a foreign key in this table. Okay, this is foreign key. And uh, the rule says that add the uh, attributes of relationships. So, what are the attributes X and Y? So we are going to add here x and y because those are the attributes of relationship and in this way we have created a two table for one to one relationship having total participation okay now we will understand uh, next point now we are with some next four steps and that will give a clear picture of how to convert a er model into the tables now we will learn the fourth step okay so now we are dealing with one to many relationship okay so how to convert a one to many relationship into the tables uh, now first step is what we are going to do is uh, we are going to modify the m side table okay we will find which is the m side so we are going to modify the m side table we will add the m side table so now understand the table name is m and we are having the two attributes of m that is what m1 which is the primary key m2 now third is that we are going to add the relationship uh, attributes attributes of relationship in a table okay and now also we will add uh, the primary key of this another table into the d1 as a foreign key here fk in the modified table this is modified table another table we will have that is a table of d so now d table will have only two attributes having d1 and d2 okay so now why we have uh, because we have modified inside table according to the definition so read once a for the e for the each one to m relationship modify m side table and include the primary key of uh, one side table as a foreign key if relationship consists attribute also include the them in a uh, modified table so now we will learn uh, sixth seventh fifth sixth and seventh step now in this case we will deal with uh, many to many relationship now understand what we do in many to many relationship you can read the uh, definition okay so a for each many to many relationship we have to create a separate table and we have to add the primary key of both tables as a foreign key okay now these steps says that if we have a relationship have the uh, attributes then we have to add in a modified table okay so now in previous examples we have created either uh, a side or b side okay one side and we have added other attributes but in this many to many relationship we have to create a separate table for uh, that relationship of many to many that is the reason I will explain it later and we have to add a primary key of both the tables and we have to include in a uh, third table okay, okay or new table so now in this case we are making a three tables one for let's say we have we are having now in this example uh, we are having a and b so we, here in this case we are going to create how many tables three tables because a is for first table for a second for b uh, now in a we will have a1 a2 and in b we will have b1 b2 attributes and in third table we will have attributes of like a1 we will have attributes of a primary key of a we will have primary key of b and we will have the attribute of the relationship okay so that is the third modified table now c says that declare a combination of foreign keys as a primary key now in third table question comes which will be the primary key so definitely the primary key we have to define and primary key will be combination of uh, a1 and b1 uh, that is a foreign key combination of foreign key and if necessary uh, we can add a more attributes to ensure that primary key uniquely identifies the rows okay so to make it primary key we can add more attributes so in this case understand this example okay so now we will uh, how to how to create this example so we will uh, look the example okay so i have already explained but for your clarification again a uh, visualization i am uh, going to write table here so this is a fifth step we are dealing with many to many relationship so now what we will do is uh, we will create a first table now we will have here let's understand uh, a table having the a name same name a1 let's say a2 a1 is the primary key so this many to many relationship i already explained can be a teacher student many teacher are teaching many students okay and uh, now we will create a b table and in this b table we will have uh, two attributes uh, that is b1 because this is a primary key of b and the primary key is for b and then b2 now third table will be we will be having third table now in this third table what we will do is we will add primary key of a1 
then we will add a primary key of b1 as both are f k or in this table and we will add the uh, uh, relationship attributes that is x and uh, if necessary we can add more attribute to define primary key and then both are a1 b1 will be the primary key in this table okay so now compose this will be the primary composite primary key for this new table and name we can give as a1 b1 or we can define a new name for this so a b and this will be the new table uh, for many to many relationship understand many to many relationship will uh, like important so why this is happened why we have to create a separate table because uh, each student there can be multiple ways for accessing like uh, uh, for understanding this uh, it is necessary to have a table so it solves the problem many problems like uh, we, we may get the uh, different traps and the traps will be solved by those kind of modification in the table so in this case when we have many to many relationship we will have how many tables we will have one extra table for this many to many relationship now we will do uh, the dealing with multi valued attributes look at the sixth step how to deal with multi valued attributes now what is the multi valued attributes which may have more than one value let's understand mobile number mobile number is multi valued attribute because nowadays one person having more than uh, one mobile number email id is again multi valued attribute again uh, in cases like address is also multi valued attribute so what is uh, how to convert those attributes into the uh, tables so uh, the rule says that we have to convert we have to create a new table for multi valued attribute look at the definition first step is a part for each multi valued attribute create a separate table and include a primary key of a parent table as a foreign key okay now second part says b part declare a combination of multi valued attribute and foreign key okay so the primary key of parent table so the both combination should be declared as a primary key for the table let's say address part a1 uh, or different we can create a primary key and foreign key as a uh, foreign key as well as uh, uh, the attribute uh, that we are multi valued attribute like address we are combining and declaring as a primary key what is third step uh, okay so both are the two step uh, in this way we are going to convert multi valued attribute so now suppose um, in in your uh, application you are developing a database and in that uh, you need uh, mobile numbers multiple mobile numbers you need uh, multiple addresses you need to store multiple addresses for the transaction let's say for accounts that time create a separate table for address and give the parent uh, like a parent attributes or parent entities uh, declare a uh, primary key of a parent entity as a foreign key in this table okay so better to have a because let's see uh, let's say customer id cid is a one of the attribute and you can have like this cid uh, cid okay this is what a table and cid this is what the primary key of a, uh, original table okay or primary key of original entity and cid will have address one okay address id or let's say address one okay uh, so in this way you will be going to, you are going to create uh, cid address okay so uh, let's say cid customer id one having this address a cid having uh, customer two having again let's say uh, b address and customer again one cid having third address like that so in this way one customer you can represent more id and you can uh, you can uh, retrieve those addresses so better to have and in some cases we can add also some attribute or some primary key for identifying addresses also okay now uh, what is the how to convert n array relationship so what is the n array relationship uh, let, let's say now up till now we have uh, deal with dealt with only two binary relationship okay so now this is one entity another entity and this is what binary relationship now n array relationship is what more than two it can be a three having now in relationship three entities are uh, taking participation and or more than three it can be four so how to deal with those kind of entities so uh, rule says that so first thing each n array relationship we have to create a separate table okay and we have to include a primary key of all the entities as a foreign key in that table b part says that if relationship having some attributes then we have to consist uh, we have to add in a, a new modified table and c step says that declare a combination of foreign key as a primary key for new table so in this case also like m to m relationship in this case also we are going to have more than let's say uh, i am having the entity as a three entity like three array relationship so three entities i am having so how many tables i am going to create so table number of tables i am going to create is a Four because three for each entity and fourth will be for 
कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल ओके सो दैट इज वॉट एन अरे रिलेशनशिप सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम गेट क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज सम एन आई सी नेट क्वेश्चन वेयर द क्वेश्चन हैव बिन आस्ट अबाउट ई आर डायग्राम्स सो होप यू विल यू विल लर्न यू विल टेक लाइक दैट दो लाइक स्टेप्स विल हेल्प यू टू फाइंड आउट the solve the questions and these steps will help you to convert er into the uh, tables okay so very important steps seven step uh, and also we are going to solve the problem so thank you very much if you like the video uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos and notification uh, press the notification icon button and if you have any doubts and comments and questions you can ask in the comment section or you can write to me so thank you very much